Welcome to Gut Talk TV, a YouTube channel focused on closing the communication and knowledge gaps in gut health. Please see a disclaimer and press the subscribe button below. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Jake Pigan. And I'm Dr. Yunnan. We are gastroenterologists from Australia. Today we are going to talk about the medication called upadacitinib. Upadacitinib is a small molecule advanced therapy. You may also heard it as its brand name, Rimvok. Upadacitinib is available to treat adults with moderately to severely active ulcerative colitis who have failed conventional therapy or other advanced therapies. In Australia, it can be used as a first-line agent, but in other countries, you may have to fail at least one biologic therapy to qualify for this medication. Generally, upadacitinib is not used in patients over the age of 65. Upadacitinib is a type of drug called Chinese kinase inhibitor, so called CHEC inhibitor. CHECs are enzymes that are involved in activating body's immune response, which drives the gut inflammation in ulcerative colitis. Upadacitinib blocks this process and so reduces inflammation in the gut and elsewhere in the body. Upadacitinib is a small molecule drug which means that it is less likely to stop uh, working over time compared to other biologic medicines. This is because your immune system can recognize your larger molecule like biologics and develop reaction to them, which decreases its effectiveness over time. If upadacitinib works for you, usually you'll see an improvement within eight weeks. But some people may find that they begin to feel better as soon as two days after starting treatment, while others may require up to 16 weeks of therapy in order to have a response. Upadacitinib is a tablet that usually takes once a day. Treatment begins with a dose of 45 mg a day for eight weeks or up to 16 weeks for extended induction. After the treatment works, then you will be generally followed by 30 mg or 50 mg a day going forward, which is called maintenance dose. You try to take this medication a similar time of every day and you can take it with or without food. Like all drugs, upadacitinib can have unwanted side effects, although not everybody will get them. Some side effects may be quite mild and go away on their own. Any medication can cause allergic reactions such as rash or difficulty breathing or swallowing. The most frequent reported side effects that people experience when they are taking upadacitinib are headache, runny nose, acne, a slight swelling at the back of the throat, or feeling sick and having joint pains. Because upadacitinib acts on the immune system, it can have some serious adverse effects. There is an increased risk of shingles in people who have previously had chipmunk and it may raise levels of blood cholesterol. Other JAK inhibitors have been observed to increase the risk of blood clots in patients with risk factors, and therefore, caution should be taken when using apatacitinib in people with an elevated risk. Because apatacitinib affects the way your immune system works, you may be more likely to get infection. Even a mild infection such as cold or sore throat, it could be developed into more serious illness. To reduce risk, you have annual flu vaccination and try to avoid close contact with people who have infection. Your treating team may recommend you to briefly cease the medication so that you can reduce the risk. You should not take upadacitinib if you are pregnant or planning to become pregnant. Upadacitinib can't be taken in pregnancy because of the risk of damage to the developing baby. Use effective contraception while you are taking this medication and for up to four to six weeks after you stop taking this if you could get pregnant. If you do become pregnant while on this medication, you should stop with the medication and discuss with your treating team. It's not yet known whether upadacitinib is present in breast milk, so as a precaution, you should avoid breastfeeding. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, please leave the comments below. Thank you very much.